Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Modal Container. In this video, we are going to be coding the modal window right here. But we're just going to code the container, not the actual popovers or the tooltips or the form yet. We're just going to do the container to get this thing to pop up and then in the next lecture, we will uh, add the pop-ups and the tooltips and the forms and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's jump right in. Open your code editor. Scroll down to the My Modal button that you added in your website. Below that, let's add a div. Give it the class of Modal. End Modal. Give it the ID of my modal and change this end to my modal so you know which modal you are using. In uh, web, in some websites, you have more than one modal window. It's fairly common, and so if you have more than one modal window, you want to end have an end comment that uh, specifies your ID because then if it's they all say end modal, you don't know which modal you're actually closing there. Just a tip. Okay, and also give this the class of fade. We want to add fade because what that does is it allows the modal window to fade in once, uh, when you click on it like this. That fades in. You can kind of see that. Slides down, but it also fades. So that fade class allows you to have that feature. Okay, in there, add another div. Give that the class of modal dialog and modal dialog save in there we're going to have another class uh, div div class modal content and that div okay and within that we are going to add the modal header div with the class of modal header And then add below that the modal body. So div with the class of modal body. All right, so this is the framework for a typical modal. So you have the modal wrapper, you have the modal dialog, which is a, a child element you need to put inside the modal div, and then the modal content, then the modal header, and below that, the modal body. In the modal header, this is where we add the text. The modal header is this up here. This is the modal header. And this, so, modal header, modal body, right there. This is the modal wrapper. And this little shadow back there is automatically added with JavaScript when you use the modal class. Okay, uh, in the header, let's add a button. Give it the class of close and data dismiss. Add this attribute of data dismiss modal. So this close button is going to close the modal window. So this times, you might remember this data dismiss and ampersand times uh, semicolon. That closes the um, the modal, but you might also remember the same button closed the alert window. Uh, and we had data dismiss alert rather than data dismiss modal. Okay, below that, let's add the heading, level four heading. And give it the class, a modal title, and give it a title, a modal window. Save that. Let's check to see if that is working. Let's go to our website, refresh. And let's click on our modal window, see what happens. There we go, it's popping up. You could toggle it by clicking, clicking outside of the modal or clicking the close button. But you can see we have the header right here, modal window and the close button. We have nothing else yet, so let's add the rest here. In modal body, let's add another level for heading. And let's just say text in a modal to show you what text looks like in a modal. Let's add a paragraph tag. Just put some lorem ipsum. And let's add another level four heading. Let's say popovers in a modal. 
This is where we're going to add a popover, uh, not in this lecture, but in the next one. Ahref class button button danger and pop. And then add some text. Don't click this button. I just thought that would be funny to write that. Another level four heading. Let's say tooltips in a modal. Add some text. This link should have a tooltip, and so should this one. And then make this link a link, and make this link a link. Save that. We'll make them tooltips later. Add a horizontal rule, and then add a paragraph tag. Uh, and let's say, PS, this form doesn't do anything, just a heads up. So just a little note to let the users know that this form doesn't actually work. And it also gives us the excuse to use another bootstrap class. So add a small tag, wrap all of this in a small tag, and then give the small tag the class of text-muted. Save that and let's check out our modal window to see what we have. Click on the modal button. So we have the title, the close, text in a modal, a little bit of floor mipsum, popovers in a modal, a button, tooltips in a modal, and then we have some links that will be set up to be tooltips. And then a little paragraph tag with a small tag within it which makes the text smaller and text muted the class text muted which mutes the text meaning it makes it a little bit lighter so it's not as prominent as say this text right here or this text right here so uh, one last thing we'll do is below that we will add a form tag close the form tag and we will fill in that form a little later add one more thing actually div class modal dash footer. So we added the modal header. We want to add also the modal footer. Save that. Add a button. And uh, give that button a class of button and button default. Data dismiss an attribute data dismiss modal kind of like the close button in the in the modal header type we want this type to be a button and close will be the text and then we're going to add one more button so just add a space button give that button the class of button and button primary the type of button and just say save changes. Save that and let's check out what we have. Okay, so that looks a little funny. Uh, there's something wrong with this right here. If you compare it with the actual finished website, this uh, it connects to each edge of the modal window. It sits nice at the bottom and has even padding all throughout the element. So we did something a little funny here and I know exactly what it is. Go back to your HTML and copy or rather cut your modal footer out of there and put it after the modal body outside of it so it goes modal header and then modal body and then modal footer so save that and now refresh check out your modal window there we go looks better all right so that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to add the form HTML right here. And, we're, and then after that, we're going to add the popovers and the tooltips. So I will see you in that lecture, my friends.